In this video, I'll show you how to put the center lines and center marks on this part. It's uh, especially, especially I want to show you how to put the um, center lines in this view for the slot. The center mark part is easy. Just clicking on the circles or the radii. Now let me also show you how you can use this auto center line tool. If you right click inside this box here, you'll see something that says automated center lines. If you click on that, uh, you have to make sure that these, at least those icons need to be lit up and those two say, okay. And it'll put center lines on there. Now notice it's kind of a mess. And this is the reason I don't use this tool very often because by the time you go through and delete all these because what it has is it's showing center marks for all those filleted corners which are totally unnecessary and very makes a very cluttered drawing but you can do the center lines center marks automatically we have a little bit of a challenge here on this front view and that is we're trying to show see where those center marks are for those slots you should have a center line through here and one through here and likewise one through here but we don't have the ability to do that with these standard tools. If you try to use this bisector tool, what it's going to do is just put a center line in the middle. It just doesn't do us any good. So we have to be kind of creative. And Inventor does not make this easy. Um, if you try to use, let's try to use the automatic center line. Let's just see what happens. Say OK. So all it does is it's showing me all those for the fillets, which is a mess. I don't really need all that. Well, let's try a different track. Let's um, right click edit view and go up here to display options and turn on your tangent edges. And we got a lot of lines here. Let's try to see what's what. Um, the good news here is there is a tangent line that lines up right there with that center line and with that one and also one for that one. So we can use those kind of as construction lines. So what we're going to do, it really helps to zoom in on this, is now go up here. Don't use the bisector tool, but use this tool up here that just says center line. And we can actually draw by clicking on those points, the top and the bottom. Now you have to right click and say create. We can draw in those center lines. Same thing over here. Click on that top point, bottom point, right click, and say create. This one's a little bit trickier sometimes. Again, make sure you're zoomed in because it makes a difference. Click on those two points, right click and create and then we'll I'm gonna hit escape and I'll right click in this box go to edit view and let's turn off go to display options and turn off the tangent lines because we don't want to see all those lines and that gives us everything we need so that, that doesn't look too bad so that's a little bit clumsy but that's the technique you use when you have to deal with slots the one thing I noticed on this too is this dimension here is not correct I'll dimension it this way so you can see that dimension's called out at one, as 104. It's supposed to be 126. So that wasn't drawn correctly. So it's an easy fix. Let's just go back to our part file <clears throat> and let's find that slot. There it is. It was um, it's that extrusion four, and let's right click and edit the sketch. Yeah, that's not the right number. So if we double click on that, that's supposed to be 0.63 to give us that 1.26. And it'll update on the part. Let's finish that. You see that looks a lot better. Let me go ahead and save that. And now let's go back to our drawing file. And you can see it'll also update. So we're good to go on that. And then you can continue on with the dimensioning. The rest of this is pretty straightforward in terms of dimensioning. There's a lot of fillets I would probably use for all of these that are the same, all of these uh, radius of 0.1, I would use just use a common note. Put a note down here that says all fillets, oops, fillets and rounds are 0.10. And that saves you from having to dimension individually all those. And don't forget to put in your all your center lines and center marks on this view. You got quite a lot happening here. Now 
my case, I want to make it just one center on. So I have a little one in there. I can just stretch it out. So just click on those green dots, and you can stretch it out. And that'll take care. Of it. So so other than dimensioning, I think that takes care of your center lines and center marks. Again, if you right click in here, you've got that automated center lines. If you right click and do Edit View, is where your display options is. That'll let you turn on and off that tangent edges tool. And then with the combination of using these tools up here, you should be able to get this, all the center lines and center marks on there.